that just looks beautiful. We got five Dominaria Standard Showdown prize packs, a Dominaria pre-release kit, and a little something from Sebastian. Stay tuned. All right. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you always take a moment, hit that like button. It does really, really help out the channel a lot. Well, let's just dive into this. How was everybody's weekend? What did you do? Anything crazy? I went on some ghost adventures, I must say. I did a little ghost hunting uh, for like this other channel that I that I do. Um, sometimes I include links to that channel uh, at the uh, end screens of videos. I'll probably do it in this one just because I'm talking about it. But the channel's um, really going to be heating up with some different content. I, I'm on like three different channels. I don't know if anyone realized that. Um, and I don't really provide links for many of them uh, that often. So, all right, first up, baby. Ooh, we got the empty one. I don't know what's on the back side of that, so we're just going to keep that over here. And then we got Dominaria. Four. Oh, two. Man, I was way off. All right, do this again. Let's go. Let's go, baby. So many goodies to open here. Holy smokes. All right. Ravnica right around the corner. In just about two days, we're going to be cracking open a couple booster boxes and then pre-release kits. Can I get a hell yeah? A hell yeah! Thanks. Thanks uh, in the back over there. Uh, 316, appreciate that, my dude. Fall of the Thrawn. Foil Demonic Vigor. That actually looks pretty slick. Uh, fall, why do I always pull Fall of the Thrawn? I, I'm honestly sick of seeing Fall of the Thrawn. I, I've pulled it so many darn times, and it's just... It's just a goofy card, man. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, we got the old Raph. We got the old Raph ship, Captain. That's something, Captain. Oh, I remember Dominaria now. God, I hated opening these packs, honestly. Just because of the sorting reason, they just make for bad opening. Like, <laughs> bad sorting. I love Dominaria. I love the set. I think it was one of the better ones in a long time. But, man, I really... I just hate sorting these cards. It's it's... It's a nightmare. Does anyone agree with me on that one? Like, the, like seriously, Sorcerer's Wand, cool little combo with that. Mistress Self-Replicator, not bad. And a Grundle Lonely King. So that was a solid little pack there, huh? A solid little pack. So we got our Foil Pile, our Lamp Pile, our Token Pile, our Rare Pile in Mythic, our Uncommon, and our Common Pile. And that's just the beginning of the sorting. Wow, you got another an Icy Manipulator. I like that they reprinted that. I mean, that thing it needed a reprint. I think the last time it was printed was an Ice Age. I mean, maybe there was another time. Who knows? Tap target artifact creature or land. Pretty cool. Time of Ice. A memorial to a glory. It's Sylvan Awakening. Foil. Not bad. We'll take it. We will take it. Oh, and a Demon Lord Bezenlock. All up in it. Nice. That is cool. Balzanlock, as you guys know, is a pretty solid little card there. 6-6, six, six, Elder Demon, Legendary Flying Trample. When Demon Lord Balzanlock enters a battlefield, exile card from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Then put that card into your hand. If the card's converted mana cost is 4 or greater, repeat this process. Demon Lord Balzanlock deals 1 damage to you for each card put into your hand this way. Pretty neat uh, ability just to draw cards. He does see play. This is true. Balzanlock does see play. Solid card right there. Solid myth. Solid mythic. Thank you. Thank you, Bells and Lock. For showing up today. The Eldest Reborn. Love that artwork on that. Really do like the saga artwork. Helm of the Host. Wow. Was that back-to-back -back foil rares? That's really cool. Was it? Yeah. Wow. That is cool. That is neat. That is something. We got the old Liquor Mastery. Look at that. And uh, Arvad the Accursed. That was pretty cool. Back to back uh, mythics or foil rares. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I, really am. ah, I miss opening packs. Haven't opened that many packs uh, this month. Usually I just crack open a ton. Um, I don't know if you guys recall, man, some, I, mean, I think this one month I opened like almost 2,000 bucks worth of stuff. It was nuts. Uh, but then I was really, really uh, ending up and broke as hell. So I had, I had to stop doing that. Uh, Oath of Defiri. There is that. And a Whisperer Blood Liturgist. Yeah, when you can't afford to pay your bills because you're spending everything on magic, uh, you got a problem. You know? <laughs> if that's ever happened to you, hit the thumbs up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, or if the wife's ever yelled at you because you just spend too much on magic. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're up Shit's Creek without a paddle there, Bill. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Spores swarm up in it. Warcry Phoenix with another Mishra self replicator. This would have been fun to draft, honestly. This would have been a fun one. Uh, Adele Edit is the Cinder Wind. The Cinder Wind. Wind and Wind. They're spelled the same, which is very, very confusing to uh, people in the world. A lot of people are like, this is really confusing in the world right now. I'm like, yeah. What's this? Bam! The Mending of Dominaria. Not bad. We'll take it. Love promos. Let's go right up in the patron binder, of course. All these goodies are. I want to get the complete set of these promos. They look really sharp. I mean, real nice, Clark. Real nice. Anyone know what that movie's from? Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody knows. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy, Miss Jefferson. What do we got here? A war kite marauder. Mardor. I'm never going to say this right until the day I die. And if that's something that you can't live with, I'm sorry. So we got the Warkite Marauder. <laughs> Boom! Glass Reckoning! All up in the beast, man. Oh, good Bantus. I, I want to show that card again, but I really can't. Uh, it's so bad and perverted. I, I got the best altered art of this card that anyone's ever seen, I must say. I must say. Yes. Ben. Thank you, Ben. Ben knows what's good. We got a Foil Swamp. And a ravenous chupacabra foil. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh. Today I'm going to be building a merfolk deck and goblin deck. This is true. Just to battle it out with a friend that taught me the game, the actual person who taught me how to play magic, I told him I'd throw together some decks and we would go at it in front of the camera. And we are more than certainly going to do that uh, for your guys' entertainment. And uh, trust me, he used to kick my butt all the time back in the day. Because uh, I was just a little stupid noob. Which, uh, some things never change, I suppose, you know? Uh, but it'll be fun to revisit that with him. We got a big boy right here. We got the big old Razakath, the foul-blooded. Pulling some big demons today, huh? Legendary creature demon, flying trample, 8-8. Eight, eight. Pay two life, sacrifice another creature, search your library for a card, and put that card into your hand and shuffle your library. Wow. That's big. Ark of Araska. Bada boosh. Skadoosh, skadoosh. We'll take it. Foil Plains. Pretty neat. And a Bone Picker. Cool card. Cool little foil there. Cool little foil. Not doing bad with the foils today. I'm going to pause on these. I really want to get over here and see what my homie Sebastian sent me. Thank you, Sebastian. I don't know what's going up inside of here. But we are going to crack the sun good open today. Boom, it to you what. Whoa, that is huge, my dude. Make sure there's nothing in here that gives away your uh, drizzle, your address, that is. Uh, I'm not sure what's open there. Okay, okay. What is this? No address? Okay. Anything else? Looks empty. Okay. Whoa. Get a load of that, man. That is freaking sweet. Looks like uh, it's traveling, got a little bent up, but nonetheless, that is bad apples. I know exactly where I'm going to put this. I have a wall of large cards, I must say. I mean, look how big this thing is. Swing. That is actual size comparison. Thing is huge. Really cool. The Paladin and Vec. And Vec? And Vec, sure. First strike protection from black, from protection from red. Imagine playing with a, with cards this big. <laughs> that would be insane. This is really neat, man. Thank you. Is it, am I signing that? I don't even know yet. Let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Let me read, uh, read this right here, my dude. Sea uh, bass. All right. Here we go. I know mo okay, dear Monsieur, Monsieur Moss, I know most people handwrite these and it makes them more authentic, but I did not want you to struggle. I didn't, I didn't want you, I'm already struggling. I didn't want you struggling to read my chicken scratch. Anyway, I'm a huge fan of the channel, man. I love what you do and how you do it. Always some quality entertainment when feeling a little down. Well, thanks, man. It's funny I actually found your channel while subbed to Jeremy, and while all the drama was going on, thank goodness I did, as you didn't, uh, as you don't have that dry, boring personality. Ah, shucks. <laughs> the craziest part about all this is I don't play Magic. What? And never have had a game with anyone. That's insane. I'm just an idiot that buys specs. <laughs> Sometimes hoping to strike the money. Okay. I mean, it is better return than a scratch off. This is a fact. Uh, where even if nothing is pulled, you still get 50 cents worth of cards, whereas a lottery ticket is boom or bust. Anyways, I've included some cards for you to open. Uh, I'd, it'd be dope if it were on camera. There is an order on them, but it's indicated on the sleeves. Unfortunately, since I don't play nor collect for real, 
Some of the cards may not be in the best condition to use for something like your Patreon, but maybe you can just play them with your uh, play, play them with yourself, play yourself for something. That's cool. And sorry, the cards aren't crazy expensive or anything. Once I create that app or win the lottery, I'll send you that nine point five. Yeah, would you please? That'd be nice. Anyway, enjoy the cards and keep doing what you are doing. Looking forward to see you break fifty k and then a hundred k shortly thereafter. That would be nice, man. Uh, thank you, Sea Bass. Whoop his ass, Sea Bass. Woo! All right, my ninja. What's up in here? What is all up in here? So he didn't send me a black lotus 9.5. Dang it! Because anything other than that is disappointment. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you win the lottery, you send me one of those. I'd appreciate it. Meh, random trash. All right, I like random trash. That's pretty cool. I'm all about the random trash up in here. Speaking of trash, I gotta clean some trash. I got shipping to do today, too. All right. Eldrazi Obligator Foilage. Slick. Sire of Stagnation. Not two shabs. We got the Unish Cryosphinx Sovereign. Yeah, what did you do to your cards? Why are they all crazy like this? <laughs> uh, Sire, Angel of Serenity. Pretty nasty angel right there. You big old 5 6 there, guy. Part of the Water Veil. All right, all right. And it gets all Angoroth. Appreciate that, my dude. Pretty cool. A lot of mythics there. I think that was all mythics. Meh, random trash. He likes to say meh, random trash. I use meh a lot, too. Yahini's expertise, foil. That is cool. Brutal Horde Chief. like the artwork on that guy. Really do. Don't really see that card too often. Not sure how much play it gets. Probably not a lot. That's why I don't see it much. Oh, Catcher the True. little god action up in the pizzle. Sahili Orore. I expect this card to go back up in value at some point here. When the right deck comes around. Crush of Tentacles. That's right. Uvenwald Hydra. All up in it. Big ol' Hydra. A lot of mythics, man. It's really sweet. This one says, meh, random trash three. Okay. Meh, a random trash. Alia. Alia. It's a little. Samu the Testicle. I really like Samu the Testicle, man. He is honestly a sweet card. Um, just that double strike is pretty neat. Up to one target creature gets double strike. I, I, I like Samu. I, like, I think I like the other Samu better. Um, I, I think they're both equally as, like, uh, as pricey. Nari the Hobbinger. Nahiri. Someone's like, don't say it wrong. It's my favorite art. Uh, Linvala the Preserver, pretty cool. General Tazri and Wakening Sun's Avatar. The white was strong with the Planeswalkers in that one. Holy smokes. Meh, number four. Ooh, I see some Japanese, I believe. Sarah Angel, foil. Can't go wrong with that. The Scar Stripped, striped. Star Striped, Star Stripped. Stripper, stripped. Eat eggs off his of butt. Okay, all right, that's enough here. Unsubscribed. Uh, stolen Identity. There you go. Is that uh, that's a promo, maybe? It looks like it. Brood Butcher. Cool. Look at all the shinies going on here. Paracosmenda. Pretty sweet. Don't see that card every day. Not in foil, at least. We got meh number five. Ooh, Undead Warchief. I love you, man. That is a sweet card. Um, that is something I know, but I can't think of. We got a bunch of different off uh, stuff. That's like one of the worst Planeswalkers ever, isn't he? I think that's what they, they nicknamed him. Ooh, another one of these guys. Is that the second one? Is it like the Restoration Angel? I don't know. Sure. That looks really cool, though. That looks really cool. Oh, what is that? What is going on? That's a big something. That is a big something. Is that Japanese? Chinese, Japanese? It looks all the same to me. I don't know. I think it's Japanese. I could be I could be wrong. What is that? I don't even know what these cards are. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know what they are. It looks like some kind of outpost. And uh, I don't know what that is either. Wow, I do not know what that, that that doesn't even look like something anyone would want. I mean just here's my beat up wooded structure. Like what the heck is that supposed to do? <laughs> that looks funny. Uh random expensive uncommons. Random expensive uncommons. This is gonna be neat. Undead War Chief. Love Undead War Chief. Probably uh, one of my favorite zombies, I must say. Oh, we got another one. This one got a little dribble on him, huh? Someone got excited before they sent him. Yep, yep, yep. A little bit of that. We got three of them, or two of them here. That's cool. What did you get on that, man? What even is that? That is really neat. 
It's almost like the same pattern. That is amazing. You must have took your time. He's like, I know exactly what that is. Giggity, giggity, goo. All right. <laughs> goody seven. Go oh, goody mob. Put that upside down. I don't know what that is. Long term planes, the old school stuff. Oh, those foils. They don't make them like they used to. They really don't. Long term plans. I said planes. Search your library for a card. Shuffle your library, then put that card third from the top. Not bad, I suppose. Combustible Gear Hulk, all up in the piece. That feels so thick and good. That's what she said. She said that. Combustible Gear Hulk. Hells yeah. Torrential Gear Hulk, just getting bigger. Slamming up the cool tail. Okay. That is nasty. Thought sees. And it's the original art. Wow, dude. That's nasty. Uh, really, like, if, if you run black and modern, you're running Thought Seize, like, 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, target player, uh, target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. The player discards that card. You lose two life. Just amazing, amazing staple. Really, really good card. That is sweet. I don't, I don't think I have any of the original ones. Uh, was that Lauren? I don't think I have any of the original uh, arts from that set of uh, of thought seeds. That's really cool, man. Thank you. What is this? What did it say in this one? I don't know. It might have said something. Goodies eight. Tendrils of agony. Target player loses two life, and you gain two life with the storm. All right, that's that's dirty. That can get out of control rather quickly. It's a foil of it. Just disgusting looking. Flooded Strand. Wow, you are sending me some hits, brother. Flooded Strand is ridiculous. That is dope right there. Pay one life, sacrifice Flooded Strand, switch to labor for a blank line. Love it. Windswept Heath. All up in it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's the Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. That's sick, man. I was not expecting that, but that's even better than what I was expecting. <laughs> that is so crazy. That is sweet, my man. Thank you very much. I did uh, a, um, uh, a patron did grab up one of my Ugins a long time ago, uh, so it's cool that I got one back. Yeah. Wow. That that was insane. I I don't know what to say other than thanks, man. That 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 made my freaking day. Uh, uh, thank you. I uh, yeah. I that, wow. That was insane. Pretty freaking cool. That, Sebastian, you the man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what are we at? Holy crap, 17 minutes. Well worth it. Well worth the time spent there. Holy crap. And what do we got inside? What do we got inside? Can we keep that awesome sauce going with uh, some Dominaria standard showdown? Skyship Stalker and a Free Jam Regan. Two dragons back to back. What do you know? Don't see that every day. Oh, three dragons. Three dragons. Look at that. With the mountain and a Scrap Peep Scrounger foil. Pretty cool. Sick of seeing that card, though, but we will take it. We've got two Dominaria Standard Showdown packs. Wow. That was probably the most excitement I've had in a while on this channel, honestly. Uh, Ra Razakath, the Foul-Blooded. Yet again, we pull him. Ark of Araska. This looks identical to that other one. What's going on with that? Forest, Verdant Force Foil. That's cool. I like the old Verdant Force. Pretty legit. Big old monster there. Big old 7-7 seven, seven, Sapro. What's up in this pack, Frank Serenity? Sanity. I said that's so wrong. Way off. Phyrexian Scriptures. If I had a dollar for every time I pulled that, I would have like $8. Phyrexian Scriptures. Pretty cool card. With the Foil Island and a Sentinel Totem, which we we'll, should see play pretty soon here. Uh, definitely we'll see play in sideboards and everything. Because of all the graveyard hate. Well, that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a blast. Uh, thank you again, Sebastian, or Seabass, as he likes to be called. Thank you, Seabass. You the man, Seabass. And, uh, yeah, appreciate everyone. As always, guys, PLA.